Hey, housemates, want to play Century Spice Road? It's kind of like Splendor, but with hand management and constrained actions. And we have the cool play mat. So, oh, uh, hang on. Half y'all are still finishing up Terraforming Mars. Yeah. Uh, well, oh, well, how about Wingspan? It's such a great game and we have all the fancy bits. Oh, wait, no, no, no. So, oh, someone wanted to play Day and Night, which is a wonderful complex two-player game, but you're waiting on your opponent to finish Carcassonne. This is getting complicated. Oh, wait, guys, I've got it, I've got it, I've got it. Want to play Flux? I have to tell you, I have a deep and abiding love of these smaller card games. What you can't usually see is that these drawers here behind me are filled with them. Some are more complex than others, of course, but Flux is quite possibly the world's best filler game. Now, a filler game is a game you play when you're sort of between other games, which maybe sounds like a negative, but really it's a way for us to all come together and just have a nice, loose time playing this game, see? And Flux is the most social game I can think of. I've participated in Flux tournaments and about half the time was spent with most people just sort of hanging out, chilling with friends. If you're taking Flux real serious, then you are doing it wrong. Which is not to say there was no strategy or decision making to the game. On our turn, we draw some number of cards and play some number of cards and try to meet the goal. How many cards and what the goal is will vary based on what has been played before. See, there's these yellow cards, which are new rules, which will change how many cards we draw, how many we play, other random stuff we might do on our turn, or, you know, just, just random crazy free actions. Green cards are keepers and get played directly in front of us, while these pink cards are goals and will indicate the specific combination of keepers that will win us the game. Golds get played to the middle of the table, so everyone's trying to accomplish the same goal with their own keepers. Then there's these blue action cards, which just shake things up, and that's really the spirit of Flux. Everything is always in motion, and some cards played on someone else's turn might change your whole plan. The philosopher Plato referenced Heraclitus, saying, life is in flux. Change is the only constant. Or something similar in Greek. While that might sound like chaos, the anchor to the game is the magical fact that when it is our turn, we have quite a bit of control. See, changes happen immediately. So if we play a new card, a new rule maybe, to draw more cards, we do so immediately. Things like hand limits do not apply to us on our turn. So we can cleverly play things to give ourselves a lot of actions, limit other people's cards in hand, get several good cards out, maybe steal some cards and Maybe even reset the rules to something less friendly. And yeah, sometimes it's just draw one card, play one card. Yeah, well, what are you going to do? Famously, there's a whole bunch of versions of Flux. Maybe they've gone a little bit overboard, but Looney Labs has managed to publish Flux as everything from charming to heroic, ghastly to otherworldly. I'm quite fond of Cthulhu Flux, which introduces the Doom Counter and Ungoals. If there's too much doom on the table, everyone loses, except maybe the cultist. Anyway, every version and iteration of Flux plays on some theme and invariably has a bunch of clever twists. So there's something for everyone. I mentioned the social aspect of this game. The pandemic has shown how much we need that human connection. We, we crave evenings wasted, sitting around a table just laughing. This light, casual game engenders clever witticisms and structured yet unpredictable gameplay. In the past, my regular weekly Dungeons & Dragons group would sometimes get together and start talking about our weeks and Someone would start dealing out cards over pizza, and before we knew it, in a, in a haze of baked goods and hippieism, the evening was gone. Because laughing at some ridiculous cards was in that moment more enjoyable than killing some goblins or whatever.
But that's me getting serious again. Hey, who likes fun? Let's toss out some keepers to meet the current goal. And the winner earns this Alfred E. Newman action figure. Woo! What do you say? What a play, Flux!